Hello everyone, this is Amsel from TechRide.com. Today I'm going to be recommending a few apps to you guys. Um, the first one is called Post-it Desk. If you head on over to the market, you can just go ahead and search for Post-it Desk or uh, you could scan the QR code given below. Um, and once you have this installed, well, you can't open it because there's nothing there. It's a widget. So head to the home screen, long press, and click press on widgets. Scroll down, and you should see Post-it Medium and Post-it Small. So let's start off with Post-it Medium. Uh, you can just go in over here, and don't worry about my keyboard if you guys are wondering. That's Swift Key. You guys can download that from the market as well. It's probably the best predictive text input uh, on Android. Uh, so we can just go in and put a reminder. We can also change the size to whatever we want. If it's something really important, we'll make it bigger. And I can now, with the latest update, even change the color of the background. So, for example, if it's red, well, don't worry, you guys probably wouldn't get this uh, because I have a custom ROM installed, that's why I'm getting it. But there you go, that's your post. Uh, it's a handy little reminder for you on your wall or your desktop, rather. Let me get this out of the way. Uh, and let me show you guys the small one. So basically this is going to be 2x1 two and that one was 2x2 uh, two two. so depending on how important your message is or how long your message is you can choose your approach, appropriate settings. So there you go, simple app, great, great reminder tool. Then if you want to go in and edit something you can simply just click on it and it pops up straight away and you can make your edit click OK and it appears on your wall straight away uh, and to delete it you simply long press and delete so the next app I want to show you guys is called app manager this basically is a way for you to keep a backup of all of your apps uh, and you can very easily restore it. So the first time you launch it, it takes a little while to load. It scans your phone for all that installed apps. And once that's done, uh, these are all your apps. And you can simply press menu. You can batch backup, batch uninstall, app restore, select all, select none settings. So we're going to select all and we're going to just go in and press batch backup and now it's backing up and if you're wondering where this is going to be backing up all your process uh, all your apps I'm just gonna cancel that for now go into settings and there you go that's basically where it's gonna be storing it so it's on my SD card under mgeek app manager and then APK backup and you can obviously go and change it as you please Alternatively, you can obviously restore your apps. So once you press on that, it's gonna search for the files available on your phone. Now it's loaded uh, all the items that I can back up. These are all the things that have been restored earlier. I mean, uh, backed up earlier, sorry. Uh, we can select whichever apps we want and just go ahead to restore and it will reinstall those apps exactly like they were but we don't need to do that so I'm just gonna cancel that the next app I want to show you guys is an uninstaller now the market uninstaller is not that great because it only uninstalls the apps that you install through the market and it asks you all these random questions when you're uninstalling it which most people don't really care about so if you install if you go to the market and install uninstaller which is right here you can open that up and it displays all the apps that you have in your phone 
and if you want to get rid of something like uh, I want to get rid of fancy widget just click on it once say okay and there you go easy as that